Are you serious? You just learned that from reviews? My gosh. Yeah, because it, it was. I didn't know that was a second part, or third party site, so yeah. That'd be scary. What is up everybody? It's the Inhuman One here with part 10 of the Neo playthrough. Um, first and foremost, we have spotted a Mothman in the vicinity. And we're going to be taking him down in Sekigahara. We know that he's weak to fire. Uh, and actually, he's not very difficult to fight. Uh, so we should be able to take him out in the beginning and then proceed forward. There were a few things that I did want to experiment with. First and foremost, I did want to try uh, changing my guardian spirit. Um, in the past, it didn't seem like I really could change it, though. So let me see if that's even possible. Um, I really would like to see if I could use a fire one. And it looks like that should be fine. Spirit required. Let's see. This requires six. This requires 13. But I think it'll be fine. We'll try this for now. Uh, we'll see how, well, it's probably not going to very quickly charge up, but in any case, we're going to do everything we can to use a fire-based spell. If we can't, that's okay. Remember, the Guardian Spirits don't often level during the or gain meter in the boss fight, so I'm not really uh, expecting it to give us much of a, uh, a benefit there, but it'd be fine if we could try it, right? Other thing is I want to check and see before we get started other skills I can learn. Uh, let's see, primarily from the spear, which we haven't got to the dojo yet. Uh, let's see. This is still the poison effect. Paralysis. Blinding shells. And a few bombs we could throw. I'm sure the bombs would actually be better than the uh, Hyotoko mask. So let's see. I love how immediately when I start streaming, everyone wants to do the lawn. And they've been mowing the lawn for days now, so I have no clue what is left to mow at this point. Let's see if we can find some bombs, though. The Horikodama should be fine. And then, let's see. The Omomori charm, we're pretty maxed out on those for now. I really hate this armor. Versus water. This is damage reduction, defense, and toughness. I just really don't like the way I look right now. Let's see if we can possibly change that. Ooh, I like that. Much better. I do, I do. Let's see. 65%. I don't actually mind these. Uh, let's see. We got some cool pants. Damage reduction, running speed, evasion key. Ooh. That's actually pretty cool. Nothing looks like it's supposed to. Like somehow I put on legs and leg guards and it gave me an entire vest. Which makes perfect sense in real life. Right, we got the Kingo stuff. I want to stay pretty low in the uh, weight area. Damage reduction, toughness, and dash key usage. Versus Yokai, blah blah blah. Either one of these, actually. We'll stick with this for now. Alright, I'm happy. Finally. How did I get rid of that? Okay. What have I done? That's what I want. Okay. Alright, we're good. Let's go kill some stuff. 
I don't think we're going to be able to get the, uh, the benefit of the flame guardian spirit that I just equipped, but that's okay. That's just fine. We are going to continue trying to use the mid stance. I think I experienced a decent amount of success using that previously, so we'll stick with that for now. Oh. Forgot to buff my weapon, but eh. It's overrated. Lovely, lovely. Goodness. I need to go ahead and uh, charge up some stamina. Okay. Oh, I had no heals left. What a shame. What a shame. That could have been first try. I didn't use any of my fire talismans either, and I was putting out some huge damage numbers, so had we used them, we probably could have taken them out. But that's okay. That was an excellent practice run. Alright, here goes. So somehow we have four heals. I don't recall using four heals, but that's okay. I also completely forgot about my projectiles. That's okay. Gotta get out of here quick. Now we gotta come in close, hopefully. That's okay. And just get... Walk right into our death, I guess. What I was trying to do is stay uh, close range, but unfortunately I timed my dodge pretty poorly when I was closing the gap, and I jumped right into his charged blades. Do this again. Lovely. heal there, but that's okay. Of course, when you get hit in this game, you're pretty much dead because you have a terrible uh, damage recovery animation that's pretty frustrating if I should say so myself. You get hit once and you kind of flail around a bit and you're unable to immediately dodge roll out of the animation, so 
that is pretty frustrating. You pretty much are guaranteed to get caught in a combo if you didn't dodge it. Alright, let's do this again. Nice. I didn't heal. I accidentally applied a new talisman. That was a terrible execution right there. He had some strange glitch going on too when he was trying to reposition. So that was pretty odd. At least my armor looks slightly better than it did before. There you go, good dodges. Terrible beginning though. get some attacks in once and for all then taking all kinds of damage sadly so those bombs actually don't do hardly any damage at all They're probably not the best idea um, they only do about two three hundred damage max so not very good actually Now let's hope that I can actually um, remember which slot I've equipped my talismans in and my health. so good. Just staying calm. As we get closer to the wall, it does get a little more difficult to dodge his attacks. Go. Good dodges there. Want to heal if we can. Yep, that's our death right there. That was actually a pretty decent attempt. Uh, sadly, it didn't pan out the way we wanted it to. That's okay though. I had three heals left so that means obviously that I made some critical mistakes there and not exhausting the rest of my heals when I needed them so that last combo really caught me off guard. There you 
go. Let's see if we can get some combos in, right? Without getting hit ourselves, of course. That was a good little combo though. He actually caught me off guard there for a bit. There you go. At least we got rid of his uh, living weapon. That's okay. We're going to heal. That was cheap. Pretty cheap. We had them there, but because they, uh, whenever they actually activate their spirit weapons or living weapons, if they are yokai or anything like that, uh, they'll create a defilement field. And that's exactly what he did there. And unfortunately, that did sap a lot of my stamina. And then when I got hit, I got stunned, and that was it. But we're getting closer and closer, I think. And we're better able to deal with his living weapon and deactivate it pretty quickly. Gotta get some of the stamina back, here you go. See if we can tire him out here. That was close. This game has the worst uh, da uh, damage recovery animations uh, ever. Pretty much if you get hit once, you are going to get hit multiple times, and that is incredibly frustrating. Especially if you have a near perfect execution, and then literally one hit is what costs you your life. It makes for very challenging combat, but you have to have perfect execution, or nearly, and that kind of makes it, to me, a bit... Uh, one-sided. Nice, so we got behind him there. And we got right in front of his projectile attack and die. That attack is really powerful and usually it's pretty easy to dodge, but the enemies in this game have some pretty decent tracking, so if you dodge too early, they can adjust pretty easily. So that was a uh, poor execution on my part. Oh no! I didn't waste it at least, which is good. Oh, the bodies there. 
area actually making it very difficult for me to dodge. We got behind him though, so we should be okay. And we're dead. Oh no, we're not dead. Now we're dead. I tried uh, spamming heal, but wasn't able to pull it off. Not a very good start, I'd say. We had decent attempts in the very beginning, but then this boss does the same thing he always does. I mean, we're able to take him out uh, and do really well, but then just the one minor, you know, combo that might clip you, and then it's game over. stamina because I got tagged by one of his attacks and that's something that I just don't understand I, I wonder what happens there like why is my stamina did it get depleted for a moment and that's why it's red or if I get hit by his living weapon is that causing me to have that weird uh, effect as if my stamina has been depleted because that's really strange I think what happens as well is when you get hit you also get some stamina damage or key damage as well. So that could be it. Okay. I'll just keep strafing around, trying to stay calm. GG's, that was annoying. Cool boss though. Impressive. Nice, now we have the moth spirit. Possibly. Will you lose and rise from the ashes, or will you just lose and die? 
So now we get to fight this guy, huh? Another spear wielder. I do believe we get a special spear from this, right? I think when I started the mission I saw that. Nice. Well, I'd like to take your head, sir. So we took out Moth Boy. I think that's all there is to here, this area, anyways. There's literally no need for me not to go back and retrace my steps and hopefully uh, get some more power. But the funny thing is, this is where I normally come up from, so did I come this way? Oh, right here. Ha ha ha! So we're gonna go around. And yes, we will level up. Why not? I think I have enough. Ooh, I'm shy. Just a bit. Instead, let's go ahead and take a look at the new items we got then. Six fourteen. Six eighteen. That's not a spear. This is a spear, but it's not really what I need. Okay, fine. We can get rid of some of these things, and what will happen is it should give us plenty of Amrita. Gave us a ton, just right there. Raven winged rifle? That sounds awesome. Equipment drop rate, blah, blah, blah. Ranged bullseye bonus. This is really bomb. Okay, I like it. Now we may level up. And our weapon just continues getting stronger. Why not? We've only leveled in body, essentially. I don't think there's a way to respec, so sadly, uh, we can't get back some of those dexterity points. Those skill points that we use on that attribute, but that's okay. Alright, let's go fight, uh, what's his name? I saw them all run this way. They're like, charge! Let's go see if there's any Kodama or anything hidden over here. Nope, I think I actually have come this way. This passageway wasn't open yet, though. I don't think. We can knock down the ladder. That'll give us a little bit of a shortcut for sure. Then we'll come back around this way. There's a lot of items kind of on the ridge there, like on the edge of these little cliff areas. So that's interesting. Mid stance really did win out on that fight, and I'm actually pretty pleased we used it. Let's go kill some stuff. A large spirit stone. We'll go grab some of this stuff too. Why not? A signpost talisman times four. Those help you kind of figure out where to go. We don't get lost in this game. We're, we're going to go under the bridge. What's up, Trudge? How are you? How are you doing? You still uh, focusing on your um, arena grind? We'll go ahead and finish him off. There you go. So we have this entire area we can explore, or we could just cross the bridge. I don't really see the benefit of that. Seems like there's a lot of enemies we can just kind of catch off guard here. This isn't good. I mean, this is not bad at all. Two hits is all it takes to get killed. Okay. 1300 damage a pop. Trudge says, I'm alright, how are you? Yes, I ranked up, which is good. Nice. Very nice. Always good to hear. 
always room for improvement. I'm just ready to get through the rest of this game so I can move on to either the sequel or maybe um, just a different game altogether. I have been really wanting to revisit uh, Ninja Gaiden Black and I might do a challenge run on that. So I'm just trying to figure out what would be the most enjoyable. Yeah, I'm not going to go this way. We're going to go circle around instead. See if we can drop down here. Perfect. Gravity. Oh, he's from Yes, there is. That's right. Awesome. Yeah, you have really good accuracy. Um, you, you play on PC, but you use the Xbox controller, it seems. And you're very accurate. I might have a very tough time making consistent shots. And then again, I don't practice much in that game. I only play every once in a while, but it is something that I notice. Like, often if I lose, it's because, oh man, they got the better of me. They, they hit more of their shots than I did, you know? And it's more so, I would say, for me, I struggle with the close range stuff, like the shotgun combat, the SMG combat. When it's mid to long range, I'm actually pretty effective. But anything closer than that, whenever jumping and all that becomes a factor, I, I often find myself getting beat more in that range than mid to far range. There it is. Alright, there's my guardian spirit. I don't think we can get back there. That's fine. We'll see if we can sneak up on some of these guys. That guy has tons of health. For no reason. We're gonna stay over here so don't we get ah so we don't get shot. That should deplete his stamina. We'll go ahead and stab him. And that should finish him off. It takes practice, that's all. Yeah. Sadly, I just don't have a lot of time for that kind of game. I usually I play Souls-like games or these kinds of games, which is a whole different skill set. <laughs> um, so I just kind of go with that, you know. It had been a while since I'd played Souls-like games, but then I revisited them after a while, and I was like, oh, man, I've been missing out. It's been such a long time, and I was finally able to get back into it. Waiting for him to miss me with a shot. Let's see. There it is. Once he recovers, I don't think I can shoot him to the wall, so I'll wait until he recovers. There you go. That'll do. Trudge says, you could try slide to mess up with her actually, then hit a headshot with a shotgun. Then switch to an SMG. Yeah, I, okay, let's see. That's pretty good. Slide to mess... Yep. See, the hard part would be me nailing that headshot, you know? I would, uh... I'd probably get a body shot. And depending on which shotgun I'm using, that could be my death sentence. And then, oh god, and then switching to the SMG, I do that usually. I do a shotgun shot and then switch to the SMG. I do usually do that. But I miss a lot of my SMG shots. I thought I dodged that. It's okay. They've got excellent tracking in this game. If you dodge too early, they will adjust and they'll just finish you off. Body shot's still good. Yeah, well, I can get the shotgun shot pretty consistently. Like, And then what will happen though is when I switch to SMG, I usually hit them with the first few shots. And then what I'll find is that the last almost half of the clip, I'm just I'm trying to adjust them. And I just, for whatever reason, I just lose track of where my my reticule is so then when they're moving around I'm like li just a little bit behind them usually um, so I find that I just don't I need more practice with the SMG that's my biggest weak point is whenever I'm in close range and using an SMG right after I've switched from a shotgun but yeah it definitely takes practice for sure right, this guy's stunned we'll go ahead and stab him and we'll switch to low stance Let's see if we can just Oh, never mind. He's gonna just wait it out, huh? There you go. Now he's dead. But thanks for stopping by, Trudge. It's always nice to have you in. This guy's just swinging like crazy. Go ahead and stab him. That actually finished him off. A lot of times it doesn't actually quite execute them.
You know, I have an idea, I thought. I'm probably going to actually go towards the, uh, the battlefield after I take out some of those riflemen and uh, see what's there, what kind of loot we can grab. This guy's dead, very nice. Got a handful of good supplies there. We got the expert spearman title as well. Looks like we're steadily getting better and better with the spear. You said you know people who play FPS. You could ask them for tips. No problem. You stop by for my streams. So I'll do the same. It's only fair. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, I have... Uh, I have you on notifications too. So that way I just make sure if I if you come on, I just you know definitely stop by and show some support for sure. That's what it's all about, man. Well, you know, and the thing is, I'm actually, if I practice, I can get really good. I used to play a lot of Destiny, and I was pretty competitive in that. And Halo, you know, back when all that was the rave, and so Halo 2 and all that. So, um, definitely have experience with shooters. I just, those just aren't my favorite type of game to play anymore. Like, even casually, so, um, that's probably why. Like, I'm actually pretty decent as a, in, as a game in most aspects. I just... As long as I put the practice in, I can do just about anything. But now that it's like my full-time job, <laughs> I have to make sure I'm kind of manage my time wisely. And um, even when I'm not doing something for content, I got to make sure I'm still honing my skills a bit so I can still do the challenge runs and things like that. So this to me is kind of like a break because even though I'm, I'm just it's a Souls-like game and it's pretty hard, I'm not doing a challenge run or anything, you know, so... It's it's a little nice break for me from my normal hard stuff. <laughs> Why would you throw it behind him? He's right in front of you. But anyways, so yeah, I do have a lot of people that do FPS, but I don't I don't think I'd really even ask for tips really because it's just more of a, a play style thing, you know. I typically am really aggressive when in a lot of uh, FPS shooters and things like that, so I try and go with that kind of uh, strategy, something that can help me be aggressive and still survive and and have a decent KD <laughs> but yeah but yeah if I say that I was like trying to compete I would definitely ask for tips but at this point it's like eh, it's just casual and uh, because I play so infrequently I don't play very often it doesn't really benefit me but it is fun. It's fun to watch. I love watching FPS now, like, more than anything else. I would prefer to watch than play an FPS at this point. Just because there's so many skilled people out there that it's just a, a real fun thing to watch. Um, especially someone that's incredibly skilled. Alright, can we win this time? See, the spear guy wants to come out front, but then this guy often gives me trouble. Let's get some of this stamina back. There you go. Two more hits for the, the dual sword boy. Oh gosh, I missed. Both hits. And he got some iframes. Another miss. There you go. He's actually over there now. Once he comes this way, we'll take him out. Alright. Now we got to dodge behind. Oh, it's okay. Took some heavy damage there. Let's see. Oh gosh, that was close. I will read what you're saying. Just one moment. This, I need to get past these fools. He's got the Odachi, a huge sword. Trudge says, The thing with FPS is that it's popular like Fortnite, so maybe any clips on YouTube that could pull in more views. Yeah, but also because it's almost too popular right it's got such a massive viewer or fan base you're competing with a bunch of uh, massive channels there that already have a very consistent piece of that pie you know so it's I think you know when it comes to views you could do that and hope to get like a viral clip or something but more consistent success is probably gonna come with you having like a fan base that's coming back for you so if you're doing Fortnite like what is it that makes your style different or that makes it why do I want to go to Trudge instead of Cypher PK or something like that, you know? So um, I think having that little flavor, like what is your style, makes it really interesting. Um, but yeah, like some of the most popular games, you're going to be competing with some of the people that already have millions or 
hundreds of thousands of people following them, right? So you gotta compete against that. And if you don't stand out and you just kinda, I'm also playing the game, eh, it's highly unlikely that you're gonna have a bunch of consistent success. You might have some viral clips, but um, it might not be more than that. Alright, genius, I've killed your kind before. You know what, let's just end this. These guys are annoying. And you sure? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Aggressive playstyle I like too, but it doesn't work specifically with third parties. Okay. I love Destiny. That was my most frequent, uh, my most recent game that I played a lot. Um, that was years ago when Destiny 2 was still like probably fairly new. And it was pretty awesome. I absolutely loved the game. Uh, there's a little code down. I can't reach him. Of course. I have to go through all that. That's the problem. Yeah. But I think it's good. I mean, like, if you can add your own style to the game, even if it is a popular game, like, that's what makes it interesting. Like, for example, like, everybody now, ever since Elden Ring came out, everybody thinks they're a Souls pro now. And everybody's all doing lore on the games, right? Like, on... And uh, I've been doing lore for years, but the difference between my lore on those games plus, you know, the other other channels is that I, I try and cover topics that might be more obscure, like not just some really basic, like anybody that played the game for 10 minutes can figure out, but stuff that's actually more obscure. So what I'm finding though is a lot of people are trying to make a name for themselves by doing lore on that game because it's very popular, even though they've never done lore on games before or whatever and uh, but the thing is in order to stay relevant in order to get the views you know if you're trying to compete with these guys that somehow able to you know go viral or just in 10 videos get 10,000 subscribers that kind of thing because they're everywhere you got to try and stay uh, you know have like unique content or unique perspective so I, I do a lot of obscure topics and really cool things like that and and that's what helps me still have a piece of the pie and stay relevant in that realm even though there's a lot more players now a lot more competition in that space whereas before there really was just a handful of big names and now you have a bunch of smaller channels that are just blowing up I say smaller but I use that term loosely they're, they're getting huge real fast alright I'm still getting shot at let's see if we can take some cover oh lovely gonna get stabbed again See we can avoid fire. These guys just keep pursuing me. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this because I'm greedy. Okay. Took some fire damage. Lovely. Oh gosh. This is an absolute disaster. What kind of place is this? And the aggro on these guys, they, they will chase you until into the pits of hell if they want to. Come on. This guy. Yep, I'm dead. My own style. Yeah, I mean, that's that's something that I think is really uh, some of the questions you have to answer, like what if, whenever you're doing a. Uh, a topic or trying to find like a game like that it's like what is my style you know what's gonna make people what's gonna add value like to people who want to come watch you know so take care trudge take care catch you next time all right let's get through this battlefield and find the next save point i'm just gonna kind of rush through it at this point got all kinds of weird glitchy guys in those huts so we're gonna just run right past it's a pretty cool level but because of the sheer number of the shooters it just becomes really annoying see like I got hit three times right there and this is just the back end where we hit poked out earlier so this is actually like no benefit that kind of sucks I'm gonna die of fire damage so we need to keep going forward then and see where we need to head next because that's not gonna cut it going straight across is a little bit more risky but it's actually not much faster either um, 
safe. You could sneak behind and run past some of the enemies we defeated multiple times, and we could try that route. But I'm going to just go straight forward instead, across the bridge and then all the way straight, see how far we can get. Maybe we can reach another save point. There you go, yeah, let's, let's team fight. Them getting shot at from every angle, that's the thing. Thank you. Oh, you're a bad guy? <laughs> now your friends are shooting me from across the bridge, that's great. Alright, let's go this way. Totally gonna risk it. Oh god. Nice. Grab all the items while we can. There's only one more that's really important. And I saw the uh, Kodama. Uh, probably not gonna grab it, to be honest. We're probably just gonna go across the bridge and then sprint as far as we can this time. For real, this time. Also, what I wanna do is equip my. Shuriken. If I can find them. There they are. Okay, perfect. So now let's head um, onward. Let's see if we can go across the bridge. Make some progress here. We defeated the Mothman, but this level has proven to be quite annoying with all of the enemy fire and stuff. I don't know how far they can see. But it seems like their aggro range is incredibly far. Here's the next save point already. That's 32,000 Amrita just for finding that location. Alright. Seriously? Okay. That guy was just taking a nap. Got blasted by something in there. We'll try and hug the walls here, see where the next safe zone is. wielder these guys are usually no fun but they're usually not so bad because they are slower so we should have a good opportunity to take this guy out and avoid enemy fire which is the key there you go now he's dead one way or the other it's gonna be hard to find Kodama here I'm actually probably not really gonna be searching for them too much Dung ball. All that for a dung ball. Very nice. There it is. Very good. Okay, we got this guy next. Dead, buddy. Right, he's not happy. Stab him right here. Low stance and finish him off, hopefully. Oh, or not. No Kodama? Okay, I was going to say, there's got to be a Kodama somewhere. Save this little guy, why not? I see another Kodama. Oh, oh my gosh. 
How the heck do I get up there, though? Very nice. High stance, mid stance. Surprise, this bull is still alive. There you go. I got an upgraded spear. Hopefully, it's worth a damn. Rabbit ear. Wakidachi Kabuto. Nice. So I don't know the way up. I'm gonna go ahead and just dodge behind this tree and heal. I don't know the way up, so maybe there's a way over here or there's another bridge. Oh, I see the bridge. Let's check what's over here first. Very nice. We're going to go ahead and see if we can take this guy out before he kills us. Somebody else sees me. And he jumped out. That was scary. Let's see how much these guys pursue. Alright, we don't have any... We have one heal left, so not very many heals left to go around, so we gotta be very careful. We got this idiot, which doesn't have much health left. So we made it that far, and sadly, we still died. Fighting that many enemies at once, though, especially without living weapons, going to be pretty difficult. Alright, so I wouldn't even say we're at a halfway point. We're, we're still pretty far off. Let's see how far we can make it. These are all the guys we defeated earlier. Excellent shot. Very nice. This is probably going to be, yep, a cutscene or a save point. Wow, we have a nice walk of shame from the boss. Good god. There you go. Taking him out. Uh oh. I want Kelly, not you. goes get away Just blocks everything Same thing I did to him. Grab. That was a very powerful grab attack. And a nice lunge follow up. Sadly, I don't know you know if there's a quicker path to get to him so 
we're probably just gonna have to take a make a run for it and get all the way past. I don't think there's a, another save point nearby, which kind of sucks. There's no better way to find out then. To just do some searching though, right? I came up from here and then yes, we aggroed a handful of people. Lovely. Love the explosion. Okay, instead, I am going to actually go back this way. I don't see much. I see that there's a few enemies posted up. Uh, possibly a Kodama in that tower. Nice. Hmm. Cannon. <laughs> and what else? Alright, here we go. We're gonna run around. Actually gonna hug the perimeter a little bit better than last time. There you go. Now we're gonna run through again. I don't know. Really, there's another way. Get this little guy. Perfect. Still counts. Okay, now we can go this way. See what's over here. Oh, yes, look at that. That's fair enough for me. That'll work just fine for me. Okay, lovely. Not only that, but I can satisfy my curiosity now and see what's up this tower. Probably nothing, but... Yeah, nothing. Y'all are crazy. It's all stuff. Who knows if it's any good? It looks like uh, some Kodachi, or you know, not Kodachi. Um, yeah, dual Kodachi or something like that. So, who knows? This should be the way to the bot. Yeah, this is a quick and easy path. Love it. Okay. And this guy's kind of a jerk, though. Thank you. Son of a mother. Okay. So, high stance, you know, unfortunately, doesn't seem to be too good because his key is incredible. He hardly uses any upon striking. So, I'm probably going to have to rely on mid stance, maybe do some parries, or even a low stance. Uh, but then my range will be impacted, you know, so we got to be careful there. We must choose wisely. Let's try fire. I'm sure fire is good. Got hyper armor. Love it. Nice. The heal windows are so small in this game. Just as small as the attack windows, to be honest. That 
is annoying. Nice grab. Can't parry a grab. I can't parry this fool at all. So he said, I've been, I knew we would face off with each other the first time I met you. So I'm assuming he's the guy that was walking down the stairs because his spirit guardian seems to be, uh, or guardian spirit seems to be the same as like that. Uh, it looks very reminiscent of like a Chinese lion. I forget what they call them, foo dogs or something like that. Can't seem to parry him either. All right, mid stance, L1 and triangle. I, sh I know what I'm doing. I just uh, don't think I'm executing the timing right at all. You know, it might be beneficial for me to get some of my guardian spirit up. These guys are so annoying. Good god, look at that. I don't even think it's worth it anymore. Craziness. He doesn't seem to be using any kind of... Oh, maybe he will use his uh, Guardian Spirit here before long, but... We know he has one. Let's change our Jutsu. Call it back, that's really cool. Okay. A little bit of Amrita increase, that's fine with me. Now, although we have 364,000 gold, uh, that will go faster than you can imagine. Let's go mid stance. He didn't seem to like water.
you go. That parry worked finally. That grab attack is devastating. Uh oh. I did not mean to do that. Well, he didn't like water, so that's fine, I guess. 796 damage with the buff weapon. Wow. That's gonna be a tough fight. If I could learn to parry his attacks a bit better, that first phase can be a lot easier, but now that he's buffed his weapon, he will use living weapon, we've learned. And it seems to do lightning damage. So I might want to switch to some lightning damage reduction charms. It also makes sense as to why he's weak to water. Uh, he grabbed me through that animation. So annoying. That slam attack also has some tracking, as do almost every freaking attacks. Almost every freaking attack in this game. They can all track you, so if they jump in the air, they are very likely to be able to adjust their position and their attack. If you dodge too early, they'll hit you. What I don't understand is which attacks currently have that uh, hyper armor where he's got some poise and they're unbreakable, you know? Like some attacks I can actually stagger and others, like his overhand strike, I cannot. The grab is also something you can't stagger through. So you gotta be pretty careful on those. He rocks high stance mostly, that's for sure. Tried to parry, but that didn't work. I tried to parry those last two strikes. Just flailing around like crazy right now. Oh, this enemy is annoying. The humanoid enemies are probably the worst to fight. Okatsu was actually pretty fun. Uh, the guy with the bird wings wasn't very fun to fight at all. He was easy. And if I hadn't defeated that one boss using those purple crystals, he would have been pretty difficult to fight as well. buff my weapon. Uh-oh. I knew he was going to do an AoE attack, and I dodged behind him, and I tried to back away, but by then I was already caught. 
To be honest, I didn't even see the AoE. It looks more like a wind attack than lightning, but it does deal lightning damage, though. So, as per usual, the strategy is to strafe and get behind the enemy. He uses high stance a lot, which employs the use of a lot of very direct strikes. Not very many horizontal strikes, so it makes it a little easier. Let's see that stuff like that. He did that attack. Okay, I see. No stamina, I don't know what I was doing there. Oh no, he has a little follow up to it, okay. Lovely. Buff my weapon as well. Seems like he learns how to turn faster now that he has his weapon buff. I think I might have been in, uh, somehow afflicted with lightning or something. I felt so much slower. That was really strange. I didn't see if I had a status effect on me now, but I gotta check. Gotta check. Alright, here goes. Oh no, he's way stronger than I thought. Okay. Yo! Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah, it does something. When I'm. I had some stats effect on me. I'm not quite sure what it does, but it feels like it directly affects my mobility. Maybe water reduces, like, your damage reduction, lightning might cause you to move slower, paralysis obviously freezes you entirely, I don't know, I'm not entirely sure of all the elements and their status effects just yet. Back away, fool! He gets an old oh, wow. 3,000 damage in that one strike. 900 plus the 2,000 bonus lightning damage. Not sure how the hell that works. I guess because I was mid dodge, but. Man, that bonus damage is killer. Of course, attacking uh, their defenseless backs is pretty good too. We get like double damage there, but if they have thousands of health, it, it, I mean, it amounts to something over time, but it's still a battle of attrition. He ends up having better poise as well when he's buffed and he's using a living weapon, so I gotta be careful with that. There you go, we gotta strike the back as much as possible. I dodged too late there and got stabbed in the face instead. Man, these
these bosses are no joke. They pretty much require perfect execution. Let's go ahead and buff our weapon. We'll walk in the fight here. Lovely. That's really the only attack you can hit us with consistently. We don't want him to turn around, so if I can hit his back as much as possible, that would be better for us. But I'll take the frontal attacks if I need to. I wonder if I just have to wait out these strikes, or wait out his living weapon, you know? He does take some bonus damage, but his poise is far superior. back to the normal phase. I am electrocuted, so I feel slower. <laughs> All of my attacks feel much slower, actually. I'm back to normal now. Gonna back away. He still got me a good range there. Ooh, I didn't see that attack, and I think it did like two to three thousand damage. That's not an attack I'm familiar with, so if he does his thrust, he can actually just thrust the spear, or he can actually summon his living weapon as well. That was a really good attempt. I don't like having that <laughs> lightning ailment, but it doesn't last too long, so I guess we'll be okay. The only attack that can consistently hit me. That's fine. charge up his headbutt, which is great. Nice. Back to it. time. You can dodge that attack, it requires some crazy iframes that I still don't understand in this game. We'll do the same. We'll buff our weapon too. Nice. I 
tried not to be so afraid of the, uh, the, the you know, the imbued weapon, but that does help. But he did this weird thing where he just blocked and he paused from when I thought I could strike him in the back and uh, get some additional damage. But it seems like if you're holding the block button, you'll immediately block any attack as soon as it makes contact. So I didn't know that. Learn something new every time we die. <laughs> Immediately after breaking his uh, guard and depleting his key, I was in trouble. Um, that status effect is annoying. Let me see if I have anything that cures ailments. I know I have several items, but I don't know which ones. Uh, let's see. Nice to have a lightning charm. We'll go with that for now. Alright, so we'll do that, and then let me go ahead and see what other items I have. Uh, shurikens kind of suck, so let's see, they don't do anything. Um, to the bosses, anyways. Sacred Ash, okay. That seems to cure status ailments. Drastically lowers their guard, okay. I'm gonna use a dung ball, how's that? And then what about firemen don't do anything, so blah blah blah. Speeds up key recovery. Familiarity. Prevents elemental base damage. That'd be good. Let's see what some of this other stuff does. Decreases damage from falls. Alright. Amrita increase. Attracts yokai.
salt. Stone. So antidote, Shinguku medicine, blah blah blah. Okay, rocks. Got it. Let's throw some dung. Everybody seems to be wanting to use this stuff. Lovely. Thirty-one hundred damage. Uh, we, so we don't want to get stuck against a wall with this guy. Mostly the bosses, you can still at least uh, dash behind them. Not this guy. Sacred Ash is in the right slot, so I could use the oh gosh, I can use that to uh, get rid of that lightning effect if it's like jacking with me. Dang it, dang it. I guess the first time he ever did that strike, I got lucky because I was pushed so far back that I was outside of that blast radius. But that is pretty much a two hit combo, inescapable, and it will kill you if he tags you with it. So I need to learn how to read that a bit better. our weapon as well. Nice. Oh, 2200 damage. That one strike because I was sprinting. That lightning damage is just insane. Curious to see what some of these other ones do. Whether it be wind or uh, lightning. 
We know water does pretty decent damage. So wind doesn't do any more damage than fire would. I haven't tried weapons yet either. Let's check out these spears real quick. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. a much better bow. That's fine. I don't really have any good bows. Get rid of all of them, so that's fine. It is what it is. Let's see how good lightning does. Probably not very good at all. Considering he is using lightning himself. Three damage. He's got great resistance to it, that's for sure. go back to water. I think that's going to be the best. Now I hope that, I think the physical damage is still fine, but I'm, I'm hoping that it's not um, dealing electricity damage. It looks like it's actually somehow fixing an ailment or something. I'm not entirely sure. Let me see. Let's go to help. Let's see. Increases the cumulative effect of lightning-based stats and what's inflicted upon- Okay, so that's not really helpful. Considering, uh, in this battle, it's gonna be pretty useless. So, 
instead of doing like 419 twice and then 541, we're doing like 590 damage uh, per combo, which is pretty good. Um, on that final strike, anyway, so that's pretty good. But it's not good enough. We need to get better at fighting him when he uses his living weapon. We can't be so afraid. It just has poise, really, uh, doesn't allow us to do a lot of damage, so I kind of get a little afraid there. Down here, the walls in this game are the real bosses. We had him going for a minute, and uh, unfortunately, I couldn't keep strafing behind him. And that is where we died. Lovely. We'll give it a handful more tries. We're going to be going to get some food here in a little bit, so I'll probably end it here before long. Not yet, but I'd like to beat the boss, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to. So that attack's actually really difficult to spot. It looks a lot similar to his uh, sweeping attack, but I think it's just an upgraded version of that sweep. I wonder if there's something that can just fill my uh, living weapon gauge up, because I'd love to be able to have a really good attempt and then finish him off with my spirit guardian. Oh gosh, that scared me. Can't do it. Headbutt, okay. Nice. Dead. Oh, he gets so cheap. He gets so cheap. You know, I, the funny thing is I haven't even seen how much life I leave him with uh, in some of those sequences, so I gotta check. I'm assuming that he's getting into phase 2 around 60% of his health. But I honestly have not even looked at his health in the last, I don't know, 5 to 10 attempts. So I have no clue how close I am whenever uh, he goes into his living weapon phase. Telling you, the iframes in this game are terrible. Well, not that they're terrible, they're probably just more normal. So used to Dark Souls iframes. 
but essentially like you almost you have the smallest fraction of a window to uh, get invincibility frames and they're so early Cover and turn around almost every time. Lovely. Damn it. Yeah, this guy's an annoying. And that attack right there, I wish I learned how to read, but learn how to read, but I can't. How's it going, Alvaro? I was gonna actually end it, but I'll go a little bit longer now since uh, you stopped by. I gotta give this guy a few more attempts. We have a decent strategy, but uh, for phase two, when he uses his living weapon, he doesn't have much of a, um, like you can't interrupt his poise. Like he gets a lot of, a huge poise boost, and that is super annoying. Trying to get behind him, he keeps turning around a little too fast. Nice. Oh, nice! You killed uh, Nue in New Game Plus. Yeah, Nue is no fun. I can only imagine in New Game Plus you die in one hit, as opposed to two hits in regular, in your first playthrough. Um. That's one thing that I've not really understood. I'm, I'm like at 50, almost 60 body, and I can still get killed in about two hits. It's insane. There you go. Try and dodge that, buddy. See, I dodged immediately to the side, and of course, that glancing blow was able to kill me, and it did bonus damage because I was dodging. What is up, chicken? Everybody's coming in now. Alvaro just joined, now we got chicken. It's a party. Oh, this is so frustrating. I'm at the, um, my wit's end with this guy. He is, he's not so bad in phase one, but I mean, as with any boss, they can all kill you in like two hits. So I've found a good strategy to stay behind him. If you can stay behind the guy, like unfortunately I didn't count because he's turning around too quick now. But there you get some bonus damage. Much like the Okatsu fight, but I don't know how he's turning so quickly now. Now he has hyper armor, which really sucks because I can't interrupt any of his attacks. And he's got this one unblockable attack that'll kill us in one hit. He's trying to block right now, so I'm just going to keep my distance. Normally I'd stay in really nice and close, but that's killed me the last few times and I'm getting pretty annoyed. Headbutt always hurts. There you go. Now we're back to the same strategy. His living weapon expired, which is great. Oh, lo lovely. I'm 
dead. See that attack right there, which is almost impossible to read. It has no telegraph or anything. It just looks exactly like the sweep, and it can kill you in one hit. You will have a boss. His name is Black Samurai, and plot twist, he is Black Samurai. Nice! That's pretty interesting. That is very interesting indeed. Yeah, but pretty much the name of the game is just strafing behind this guy and hoping that he doesn't deal damage with that one unblockable attack that is nearly unreadable. So that's what we're, our strategy is based around, hoping he doesn't do that. And just strafing behind him. This is like Pursuer 2.0. It's so annoying. It's only because of that attack. Otherwise, he'd be cake. And the fact that he does have the hyper armor and his poise gets like a 3,000% boost. That kind of sucks, too. I don't know how he grabbed me there. That's okay. Just gonna heal past it. There it is. I'm dead. The Samurai's mega slow and weak. Okay, cool. Well, I'm looking forward to fighting someone slow and weak and easy. This guy's not bad. Minus the fact that he does have like a millennia style kill you in one hit technique. Which is pretty annoying. And you just showcased it right there again. So if he does that attack, I don't know how to read that attack. Uh, at all. And even if you dodge, it has an AoE. So it can pick you up and uh, get you from afar, which is probably the worst part of it. It looks just like that sweep you just did too, which is the only attack you can consistently hit me with. Shitty iframes again. You just pretty much have to dodge in this game. I've already given up on iframes. I'm dead. There it is again. It has a massive AoE. So if you're anywhere in his vicinity, he can instantly end the fight like that. And because I'm not gaining any Spirit Guardian and the enemies around are a little too hard to farm the Spirit Guardian for, it's it's going to be tough. Like I could try it. Edward's weak to good. I'm, finally, I'm glad we could kill his ass. Uh, I'm going to call back the Spirit Guardian. Let's see if we can just kill some easy dudes. There are none over here though, to be honest. I have no clue how many people it will take either. To make me farm up my my key all the way. Let's see. That's a decent amount. Let's see if we can uh, get this idiot over here. Oh gosh. Everybody's joining the party. Hit him! <laughs> We all suck at close range combat, apparently. Alright, this dude, you need to die, bro. A gruesome death. Try to dodge diagonally and backwards, so like first left, then right. It should be the best chance to avoid those animated attacks that do a ton of damage. Okay. I'll try that, because... At this point, I'm like, I don't know what the heck they want me to do with that. Because I'm not going to fight them from a range. Like, that's just not going to happen. Because I could wait it out or whatever, but there's truly, like, no point in doing that. It's going to just prolong the fight. He can only do it when he has the living weapon. So, I mean, if I absolutely have to, I could get in some strikes and then wait it out, but those attacks seem to last for a good period of time, so I'd rather just learn how to dodge it. After the fight, can I? Can you show me your stats? Sure. I'll show you the stats right now, buddy. 
Can you respec, Alvaro? I don't know if you can respec. Like, can I change my stats? Because I would like to get rid of the skill points and move them to something else. Possibly heart or stamina. Probably heart. But those are my skill points right there. 100% of them, minus the first few that I was just playing on accident. And I, on accident, right? It was an accident. I was using a dual Kodachi. I put everything up into the spear. Uh, Chicken says it should at least avoid the sweep pretty well as long as you can reach react before the attacks. Okay. Upgrade spirit. And what does that do? I guess I could check, huh? Affects the power. Ooh. That's good. Yeah, my Guardian Spirit is kind of whack right now, but let's see. I need to also kill some dudes. Yeah. I need to see if I can get a full meter. That's just spam. Alright, we're getting closer. That was a lazy attack. My stamina is also pretty. Whoa! Did I just shoot that? <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Whose side am I on? Yeah, my stamina is shite. But I don't truly. I mean, that's okay. I mean, I'm pretty much adapted to shite stamina. That's, I'm fine with that. Uh, some dual swords I'll never use. Who uses those? Okay, that's fine. So now we have full spirit juice. Oh my gosh! Okay, hold on. Now we'll go back and uh, do this whole thing here. And charm, go to spirits and check thine stats. Charm. Like here. Oh, my guardian spirits are all weak. Like they all have. Like, all I see is red numbers here. See, I don't have the spirit requirements for to summon hardly any of these. I don't think. Maybe that's what it means, or maybe that's how much the meter is. Like I have six right now, six spirit on my Dabawashi. I don't really know how that works, but. And I don't really have a bunch of them either. I, I I probably have one of each element for sure, but I definitely don't have uh, all of the spirits that are available because I've been skipping all those missions. All right, so now it will be key, and it will be important for us to reclaim our guardian spirit so we can have our living weapon. All right, let's see. We took a minor break. Let's see how good that does. Oh gosh, I'm in the wrong stand. All right, I'm better. Nice. Seventeen twenty-four. So that's gonna be like right next to him. Lovely. Lovely. Oh, come on, let's do this. A small yellow stone charger spirits to Oh okay, those little Amrita things? Good. I um I typically use those just to get Amrita to level, but that makes sense. Alright, let's see if we can grab our spirit guardian. Lovely. There you go. Gotta get in closer. There you go. Now we're in that sweet spot. I'm invincible now until you use your guardian weapon. Oh, 
Oh no! It did like, I don't know, 2,500 damage it looks like, because I was mid-dodge. One stone charges half of your spirit. Cool. I think I've used a, quite a bit of those uh, yellow stones, so let me see here. I know which ones you're talking about. Let me see. There you go. Spirit stones. So I could use some of those. I haven't used my uh, spirit weapon yet, but I do have some. At least. All right, these fools. Lovely, lovely. Ugh. One mistake is all it takes. It's funny because this fight is playing out a lot like the moth fight. Um, you know, you can totally dominate that first half, and then as soon as you make a mistake, you're, you're toast. You can parry him, but he is really, uh, really hard to read. I'll, I'll show you. Actually, let's wait until I have a shitty attempt and I use my guardian spirit and then get all mad and stuff. Because this, I've already kind of programmed my mind to do this. So let me uh, mess up really bad, and, fa and then I'll do that parry thing. Because parry does good, and it does a decent amount of damage, too. It does like 1,400 damage, but it's not bad at all. Can't dodge, because I'm stuck. I, I hate that. Like, you, can't not, you cannot move a step, not one inch. And so you're just waiting there, like a sitting duck, waiting to get your head knocked off. That's so annoying. The only thing you could do is use Spirit Guardian, but well, I'm not going to do it before he even reaches phase two. How about you don't mess up instead and win? <laughs> that's, the, that's the plan. That's the plan. See, like this part, I, I use all day. This is easy. But then when he gets his super poise, it's a lot harder. I'm gonna back away because he's in the freaking corner again. Hey, we got iframes for once. Got some wicked range on that thing. I'm gonna heal and I'm gonna go in close. Dodge back, okay. Wow, he didn't actually get us because we we're a mile away. Nice headbutt, asshole. Okay. Let's just do this. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Alright, so that's not uh, terrible. I don't know. I, I wonder. One thing that I'm not sure of is does the living weapon like run out over time or only after you do a certain amount of damage? Because. Like with the moth dude, it seemed to last forever. Unless I started dealing a bunch of damage, then it slowed down a bit, but I don't know. We shall see. <laughs> Alright, never mind. I know, I know, my bad. I'm trying to get those. Uh, strikes on his back because they deal so much more damage, but sometimes if you hit him from like a slightly uh, Even like a diagonal angle. He'll still uh, nice. Can't do anything because I'm flailing around like a freaking I don't know what monkey Every time you get hit you just start flailing around and you can't dodge out of it. I don't understand that At all why don't you use key pulse? Uh, because right there, I'm not really too concerned about my stamina. I could, but like, watch. I'll show you why. 
See, look, so I'm just gonna do my. All I'm trying to do is get behind him and deal max damage, but I don't really need it because, like, I'm getting my stamina back that I need. I'm just strafing, you know, I'm not even doing anything crazy. I guess I could get in the habit of doing that, but at this point, I wasn't really too concerned about it because I got my stamina. Ah, oh, come on, that angle. Now I'm gonna have to back away. Do this. There you go. But yeah, that's fine. I can do that. It's easy to do. I just didn't really think I was needing it at that point. But just in case I run out, right? We might need it. Nice. Or we'll just die immediately. Their tracking in this game is incredible. Like the enemy tracking. If you dodge early, it'll hit you probably 90% of the time. They can adjust like no other. I could change the stance. Uh, mid stance is pretty good. The only thing is um, the, the low stance will be good since I'm behind them. But high stance sucks. I already tried high stance. But that was before I did my other strategy. So I guess I could try that. That's my bad. That wasn't stance. That was just my execution. So we'll try low stance. That's fine. Mid sense has been really good though. That's where I used to take down the moth as well. So it's kind of a good balance between like your stamina management. And it does a lot more damage. I'd say like per strike, it does like a hundred more damage. On the final blow of any combo, it'll do like two hundred more damage. So it's pretty good. Um, but yeah, we'll go with low stance. You killed Shima with low stance. Is this Shima? I haven't even read his name yet. Yep. Nice, that was my bad. I'm just not playing right with that low stance for some reason, but let me try just my low stance, but just getting behind him again. Um, low stance doesn't seem to have as much effect on the poise either, because he's still able to get a lot of strikes in. When I'm hitting him with mid stance, I can get him at least two to three times before he can start, before my combo ends, before he can then counter and strike. High stance could work at least for one face, and stamina isn't first face, it's highest priority. Okay. Let me just figure out what's going on with my low stance. Why am I sucking at low stance now? He immediately turns around with low stance, so it has a lot less of an impact on his stamina. High stance is a little too vertical. Let's see. This is just to survive. I don't want to die. Okay. 700 damage. That's not bad. That's a killer number. Try two heavy attacks and have distance and low stance. Uh, but don't trust me as I've never played the game before. <laughs> now those are all good ideas. I'm down to try anything. I just was getting a nice rhythm with the mid stance. Um, but let's try low stance. We'll try heavy attacks. That's interesting with the spear. Okay. Um, but if not, we might have to go back and adopt that mid. Because I would feel the most success with that strategy. But we'll see. That was a live back, okay. Oh, I got hit back away. That's my fault. Good gosh. You can literally die in like, it's like three seconds, I bet. If you stop, watch that. Okay, let's see. Low stance again, and I'm gonna actually remember to press triangle. I keep forgetting to do a heavy attack. Don't use high stance. Yeah, I have the worst stamina ever. Uh, I haven't put any points into it, so my stamina is pretty bad. 
Yeah, the problem is the low stance doesn't impact the, po the his poise enough, and at least with mid stance, I am able to do it. So I'll still I'll go back to uh, mid stance. <laughs> no, I don't mind. It's not like uh, it's not back seating or what do you call it? You're not back seating or anything. I don't mind. Y'all are just giving me uh, different tips on things I could try. Because sometimes I'll get tunnel vision and I forget. I'm like, oh shit, I didn't even know I could use that. So no worries. But yeah, I think that I actually need to go with my original strategy. You can see how you can see the difference, right? I'm striking him and he is getting stunned or staggered. That's what we need to have in order to deal more damage. The low stance and stuff doesn't do that. High stance wastes too much stamina and the damage. Like 700 times two is like 1400. Whereas I'm still getting probably slightly more, so it's like, yeah, I'm getting like about 1700 by doing three strikes. Back up, fool. You got some mad range, and then that status effect for the lightning slows me down a bit, I think. And I don't like it. There you go. I knew he was going to do it. That's the only reason why I dodged it. I didn't actually dodge it because I'm like, I read it or anything. Certainly did not. Kind of had to. Fine. We haven't used it anyways in a while. Immediately upon uh, the guardian spirit going away, I got messed up by his little wind attack. From my experience, staying close is the way to go. Uh, way to go. These kinds of fight. Yeah. He's slow to turn around if you get his poise enough. And why would you go further away? Some of the spear. Exactly. On this one, you gotta have to smother him. The only bad part is that attack where he uses his, uh, you know, his one shot attack. Um, but aside from that, no, cl close is the way to go. Um, if they have a long range weapon, you always want to smother them. And I think that, like, as you can see, like, once I actually, when I get my, my strategy down nice and easy, like, you can see how well it works. Except that it's the second phase that becomes an issue because his poise gets so much higher. But this right here, I mean, we do this all day. So the grab, I should have, I could have dodged to the side, but I was just a little bit too far out. That's the only reason why it even worked on me. Three strikes. Go ahead and heal up. And I'm curious if I could just run it out, you know, have him waste his living guardian. That would completely eliminate the threat. But I have a feeling it's tied to damage. But he's still going. Yeah, this dude's never gonna run out. And I'm dead. <laughs> the last second, he actually ran out of key doing that attack and he still was able to kill me. But he has a good area of attack. Well, yes, but most bosses have some kind of AoE. Yeah, that's kind of just the gamble that I have to deal with. And, and waiting it out, it really doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. I guess I could, but even with his last strike, when he used all of his key, he still uh, killed me. So it's like, you still have that chance, whether you're hyper aggressive or you're not, to get killed by that one shot attack. Alright, here goes. We'll just do my original strategy. I just gotta stand closer though. That's the wind attack and I'm dead.
If I get desperate, the one thing I could do is charge up another Guardian Spirit and then have a good first phase and do it again. But I hate chasing around the damn Guardian Spirit every time I die. Having to pick up that blood stain is super annoying. Especially when the enemy can kill you in one or two hits. Okay, like the last three to four times before he does that sweep, he does a roll. Ah, okay, okay. I didn't even notice that roll. Alright, mid stance it is. That's what we're going with. And we're just going to strafe. I'll do the key pulse just so we can get that max stamina. There you go. Got the eye frames. Wowzers. We're good at this game. Just kidding. One, two, and then I'm going to go ahead and attack him. That's okay. I don't mind the grab. Again, if you get hit once, then you're already stunned, and you're going to get hit more than once. And then that means you die. So if you get hit once, you die. More of the story. So annoying. Been fighting this asshole for too long. I do have better armor, though, so I, at least I did change it from that stupid outfit I had on. So let's we'll watch for that roll. Good God. I'm just not moving right. And uh, unfortunately, I'm not staying as close as I can. So that's why he's able to get those attacks in. If I'm hugging him, he can't get any attacks on me. So I need to close that range, or close that distance immediately. Instead of fighting kind of in that intermediate range, it's not good. And that's why I'm getting tagged with all those strikes. Chicken says, after the grabs, I think you should first dodge left. Backwards, then right. And the thrust, too. Okay. That was instinct, my bad. I've been dodging towards this side of him. His left side has been good, but what's happening the last few times is I just haven't been able to close that distance like I usually am. Do? do we wait it out or do we be aggressive? I don't know. Hate fighting a guy from this far away with a freaking spear. Feels like a death sentence. I'm gonna watch for a roll. That's the roll. Oh, okay. That is a roll. Okay. Oh, okay. Don't do it. He's gonna run out of key here. Now he's pretty much normal, so let's see if we can just take him out. Stab. Alright, so far so good. Maybe we do wait it out. Got stuck in the wall there. That's not good. Oh, come on. Now he's gonna spam it, huh? I do have an ailment on me, so I'm like super slow. I'm not purposely moving slow at all. Just 
kind of happening. Haha. <laughs> 2600 damage from that stupid lion and I literally had full health ah yeah the roll must have been a coincidence that was a good attempt and I think it is uh, more likely that we're gonna be successful if we wait out his living weapon I just can't get caught by that dog thing that was so annoying I didn't even use any amulets that last time Wind attack and I'm dead. Okay, never mind. I think that a roll indicates one of the special attacks, but the attack is random, seems like. Yeah, that, that one attack, he doesn't even roll beforehand. He just kind of like, it looks just like the sweep. Except he jumps in the air instantly, so it's like, and the AoE is huge. If you see the AoE, like those lightning, uh, that lightning all around him is, is incredibly wide. So it's like, good god. Right, here goes. Let's try and do this again, shall we? all the way regenerated so I was trying to be aggressive and uh, punish that he had depleted his key instead I got destroyed he baited me I did I pushed when he didn't have key and that's exactly what happened I died I was pushing and then if, you know th when enemies block even if they have like the lowest key they can still like the boss enemies they can tank it still so it just did not work that is precisely why I died. I was trying to be aggressive. I, I like to go for those so I can get a, a nice critical. But that's a shitty attempt. I did not mean to throw some dung at him, but I'm sure he didn't mind that. One, two. Grab to the face. Heal. I'm dead. Ah, oh, gosh. This guy's pissing me off. That was a lot better though. These last few attempts, I feel, have been a lot better. I've been fighting this dude for probably like 45 minutes. Maybe more. Alright, here goes. 
I think the strategy's fine now, just a matter of execution. Finally figured out at least not how to be afraid of his face too, because that was terrifying initially. get Neo on PC? I think you can. No, no, I think it was a PlayStation uh, exclusive. Yeah. Dead. Yeah, I got a, a PlayStation exclusive. PS4. It was like PlayStation only. That's why I didn't ever play it initially. At the time when it came out, I just had the Xbox One. And it came out on PlayStation 4, and I was like, nah, I can't. I'm not going to dish out for that. I had a PlayStation 3, and I was like, I'm good. Then, Neo 2 came out, and by then I already had PS4, PS5. That's why I bought it. Now it's on PC too, sweet. All right, cool, so so much for exclusives, right? Before you know it, every game's gonna be on every console at this point. It's kind of what they're going for anyways. takes is two hits so I should just probably do one strike and then dodge away I was going for two that one last combo I actually did three so maybe I can you know I can safely do one two is a little risky I know for a fact three is not enough time for me to actually then dodge out because again his poise he's not getting staggered when he uses his living weapon yeah so you could definitely get it then I didn't know that I didn't know it was on PC that's freaking awesome My goodness gracious, that was scary. He just repositioned me, so he wasn't being mean about it. I get it. Very good. I'm dead. Can you believe that? I was at the farthest edge of that attack, right on the perimeter, and he got me. But that would have been a good attempt. I think I would have beat him had he not got me there. I'm confident that I would have beat him there. That's unfortunate. Unfortunate. It's not even a matter of like heals at this point. It's just a matter of, oh, he can one shot me. If I can avoid that attack, we're good. Neo Complete Edition? I don't know. I can find out. 
I don't know if it's the complete edition. It's the edition that I... No, I don't think it is, because it's the edition I got from being a PlayStation Plus member. So no, probably not. It's probably just the regular edition. But it is an edition that gave me the, the gold Neo armor, so it definitely has something on something. dead yeah because he was doing his little attack and I got tapped by some you know whatever double D batteries what are they called triple-a batteries the same voltage of a triple-a battery and then I died because he stabbed me in the heart and then you cannot the, the most frustrating thing is when you get hit you have like this it doesn't seem like a lot like a very long animation but it is very long when you're getting killed uh, like a little re a, a, like a damage animation I don't know it's like you, you get hurt and then you have to recover from that before you can do anything else that is so annoying couldn't really dodge to the right there because there was a big wall not getting my key pulse this time very good. Beast mode. We need a beast mode it for sure. I am just frustrated with this guy. Part of it is because I'm starving as well. I am very hungry. <laughs> okay, that was scary. Heal, baby. Heal! That was an aggressive heal and it was stupid because... He was chasing me. I should have dodged one more attack. That was a bad attempt anyways. But yeah, I'm starving. We're going to go to uh, this place called Gen. G-E-N. And it is a, uh, it's like a Korean barbecue place. So what you do is you get to pick whatever meats you want. Uh, you know, brisket, chicken, pork. If you eat pork, I don't eat pork. Uh, shrimp, things like that. And there's a, like a little grill on top of your table. So where you're sitting around a grill and you you can cook your own meat and stuff and it's kind of cool and it's really smart if you think about it you, you, you have to cook your own meat you're paying to cook your own meat it's great but anyways you have like unlimited sides so they give you all kinds of good stuff as well so it's really cool actually i like it a lot and i'm really excited because we haven't gone in a while so we're going to be doing that tonight so that should be tasty but i'm starving I did not need to do two strikes there. Nice, we dodged it, but barely. Just one hit. Maybe I'm getting greedy. Maybe no hits. That's fine. We'll just wait it out. Eh, I want to hit. Oh, who am I fooling? Oh, he's out of juice. Okay, lovely. Look at that. Let's go be aggressive now. Damn you. Alright, here's the moment of truth. Do it. Oh, fudge. Got one heal left. He still has a pretty decent amount of stamina, sadly. And even though... Oh, he guess he did hit me. Okay, I was say... I got afflicted by the uh, that attack. Which really sucks. Damn it. I'll use my last heal here. Oh, I'm so slow. I need to get rid of this attack. That uh, affliction is terrible. Please. Do your thing. Do your little jumpy jump. Not that one. Do the big one.
The freaking invisible walls are killing me right now. He's not running out of it this time, so it must be a damage base. Or key base, potentially. Oh! That's okay. Ah, oh, he does it again. Seriously. So he's going to spam that the rest of the match, pretty much. So I have to be a little bit more aggressive. Nice. I rolled too early. He matched me and stabbed me right in the face. <sighs> Forty nine ninety nine. Are you kidding me? It's uh not new by any means. It came out in twenty seventeen, I think. So, I mean, we're talking five years old or more. I don't know if it's. I mean, it's good, and it's definitely one of those games where yeah, you would have paid forty nine ninety nine and been like, yep, that was worth it. When it was new. I don't know about now though. I got it for free, so. I like my method better. My pricing. Might as well. Missing some of those strikes, but that's okay. There you go. Now we got a little rhythm going here. No, we don't. No, we don't. He's getting cheap on me. Nice. Let's get out of this little area here. Had a great start. Nope, I'm dead. No, I'm not. Oh my gosh. What happened there? I feel like in phase two, his, uh, his AI or something's a bit different because you can't near get as close to him or behind him as often as you can in phase one. So that's weird. It's some complete edition, but still. Jesus. And Neo 2 complete edition is $59.99. Neo 2, okay. Uh, that came out like in 2020 or something like that, so even so, I can't imagine I'd pay a full price for that at this point. I'd like it like $39 or $29. Much more to my liking. I did buy Neo 2 when it first came out, though. So I paid full price. I'm dead. 
Yeah, well, I'd probably buy it someday since I'm an idiot and an impulsive buyer. <laughs> That's the way I, get, I am too with any games and stuff. Like, I have nearly every console. I'm a big collector as well, so I have a lot of the uh, games and game systems from, we're talking like second generation and onward. I even have like a Magnavox Odyssey and stuff. So I have some very, very cool pieces of history, uh, gaming history anyway, so I really like to have those. Um, in any of the games that I purchase, I typically like to have the physical version. The only one I haven't really done that with consistently is the Switch, the Nintendo Switch, because I truly love like the it's just like objects that uh, you can you know go and be mo play on you know on the go. That mobile nature of the Nintendo Switch is really cool. So when I go and travel, you know I don't want to have all these little game cartridges. Instead, I just uh, have almost all of the library is digital. And I think I have like one game that's um, a cartridge game, but the rest are all digital. And it's cool because I mostly play indie games on there anyway, so you're not going to get the physical releases. So, I don't know, the Switch has kind of taken a turn for that way. So I, I really do enjoy playing indie games on it and Metroidvanias and stuff. But you won't see me getting digital games anywhere else really unless it's free like on PlayStation Plus. Or I don't even know what you call the Xbox version of PlayStation Plus. I think it's like Xbox Game Pass. I don't know what the hell it is. Xbox Now or no, that was PS Now. I don't know what the hell it is, but it's uh, you get a you know, oh the Gold. That's right, Xbox Gold or something. You get. I'm gonna die here. I'm not yet. But yeah, it's cool. You get like a few free games a month. And I always download them, even if I'm never gonna play them. Because you can just at least have the rights to them, and if you ever want to install them later, you can. Nice. Nice range, sir. Nice range. I should have dodged more laterally, but I thought he was going to do a sweeping attack. Oh, goodness. This guy is insane. just bad execution on my part so much of the time especially in phase two because i think i get so used to staying out of his range that i forget how to dodge and he does that sweeping attack quite a bit in that phase as well which really sucks i wish he did that more that'd be nice I tried to heal, but I pressed left on accident. That was my bad. I'm really slow right now, which is really terrifying. Because I've been afflicted with a lightning ailment. It really sucks. Back away, fool. Okay. That could have cost me my freaking life there. Oh, so he's not spamming his little lion thing, but he is. He's just now getting started. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to do. Call back the Spirit Guardian. 
and he doesn't like water, so I'm going to see if I have any kind of water spirit. Not that I know of. That's lightning, that's the, uh, I don't know, earth. This is water, okay. I choose you. That does give a good amount of Amrita. Don't I have another small one? I'd hate to use a giant one for that. I don't. Let's go kill a little guy then. Alright, that should be enough. Let's make this count, shall we? This is apparently a water spirit, which is kind of cool. So maybe I can use it if we uh, do well. Getting him too far into the woods here, into the wall, I'm sorry. And that is not good. Generate some stamina here. See if I can get him to strike back away. Need some stamina, so we're gonna kind of stay away from those strikes there. There we go. Normally I would attack like crazy, but I'm just not going to risk it. Can't believe I missed that stab opportunity. That's okay. Yeah, he does move around a little bit more. Phase 2. to do it. Use all of my juice. That's not good. That was worthless. I don't think I can heal. I pressed down multiple times. I don't think I can heal when I have that lightning ailment. I was spamming down. That really sucks. We got this easy peasy. I wish we would have had it, but I uh, completely whiffed my living guardian. Completely whiffed it. Uh, cause I got, I took a whole bunch of damage, and I don't think you can heal when you're electrocuted like that. I was spamming down on the D-pad. Uh, let's see, let's call back the Spirit Guardian real quick. Yeah, it sucks. That really sucks. Okay, that's all right. It happens. This doesn't do anything. I'm going to try and equip it though, but... Moment Talisman. I tried it last time on Yuki Ona and it didn't do shit. Alright, let's go kill some dudes. <laughs> okay, we don't got this. Not not even close. That was terrible because I had to whiff my, my living weapon. That was absolute waste. Oh, 
why you so tall? Let's see, who else is huge that I can kill? Hey, buddy. Alright, one more should do the trick. Come here, genius. How does this work exactly? I don't know what that does. Come here, fool. So that should do something, right? We'll see how good these little butterflies are. Gotta switch stances before I forget. And I didn't get to equip my charm, that's okay. He's right up against the wall, so it's not gonna really help me at all, sadly. Hey, we got iframes again. I don't know what this does, what does it do? It hurt him for 26 damage, hell yes. That's gonna help us win the game. Okay, I can heal when I'm OHQ, okay. Just have to press it right, I guess. Get away from me, sir. Have no ha stamina. And I'm in like lightning mode, which sucks. Alright, one, two, uh huh, uh huh. There it is. Oh gosh, okay. We gotta get him this time, guys. Hopefully. Total wave. Nice. Well, I think that's a good stopping point for me. Time to go eat. Enjoy some dinner. We'll have to beat them next time. Not sure. Oh, I guess I died there. He was standing in butterflies. I was like, hey, that's my, that's my guardian spirit. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry I couldn't get through that boss. That was really annoying. I was really hoping to beat him. I've whiffed the uh, guardian spirit multiple times, so I'm not really sure how to make that, you know, make use of that. I guess I can't panic and think and use it as a crutch whenever I'm in a bad spot of healing. I just need to make sure I'm having a good attempt, and then whenever. After we survive maybe the first time he does his living weapon, then we can go ahead and pop it. And we should be able to beat him. And that's what we'll do next time. So we'll jump in there. We'll get our Guardian Spirit uh, charged up all the way. Get him all the way down to Phase 2. We'll let him exhaust his first uh, living weapon. And then we'll go ahead and cast and then do as much damage as possible. So anyways, we will get him next time. Uh, tomorrow is a new day. And I am starving. So hopefully, you guys, you have a great rest of your day and night. And, uh... Yeah, until next time, it's Inhuman1 signing out. Catch you guys next time. Thanks so much for stopping by again, guys.